Hi there! After this lesson, you should be able to recall and apply the product, power of a product, and quotient rules to simplify expressions. When working with exponents, there are several rules that will help us when calculating numbers that are raised to some power. We call these the properties of exponents. Today, we will cover the product rule, power of a product rule, and the quotient rule. So let's begin. But before we jump into the rules, let's take a look at some new words. The first one is term. A term is just a number, variable, or the product of numbers and variables. A monomial is just an expression that contains one term. Since each example above is just one term, they are all examples of monomials as well. We can use the properties of exponents to simplify monomials. Let's take a look at the first rule. The product rule applies when multiplying two numbers in exponential form. Notice these numbers have the same base. Yes, this will only work if they have the same base. Anyhow, if we are to write this out as repeated multiplication, we would get 5 times 5 times 5 times 5 times 5, or 5 to the 5th power. Notice that this is the result of adding the exponents. And that's our rule. When multiplying two numbers in exponential notation, we will keep the base and add the exponents. The next rule is the power of a product rule. Let's take a look at the following monomial. This rule applies when you are multiplying two or more numbers or variables together and then raising the entire problem to a power. This is the same as multiplying the product three times. You will see that there are three sevens and three x's. Or, using the commutative property, we can write this as 7 times 7 times 7 times x times x times x. This is the same as 7 to the third times x to the third. Notice the exponent was just applied to both the 7 and the x. And this is our second rule. When raising a product of numbers to a power, we can simply distribute the exponent to each number in the problem. The last rule we will cover is the quotient rule. It applies when we are dividing two numbers of the same base in exponential form. Writing this problem out, we get 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 in the numerator and 9 times 9 in the denominator. To simplify, we can group numbers and reduce. 9 ninths is equal to 1 over 1 or just 1. This 9 ninths is also equal to just 1. What we have left is only in the numerator, and that is 9 times 9 times 9, or 9 to the third power. Notice that this is also the result of subtracting the exponents. And that is the third rule. When dividing two numbers in exponential form, we subtract the exponents. Sometimes, we will have to rearrange an expression before applying any of our rules. For instance, take the following monomial. We can rewrite this as 3 times x to the 8th times 5 times x. The commutative property allows us to rearrange the order that we multiply, bringing the 3 and 5 together, and then the variables together, so that we can multiply as we see fit. 3 times 5 is equal to 15. Next, we can apply the product rule to simplify x to the 8th times x. Notice there is no exponent here. When this is the case, the exponent is understood to be 1. So, if you'd like, just go ahead and jot a 1 in for the exponent. Great, now we can apply the product rule by adding the exponents. Don't forget to bring down that multiplication symbol. Completely simplified, we get 15x to the 9th power. Use the properties of exponents to simplify each expression below. We can apply the product rule to a. We will add the exponents to get 12 to the 4th power. Simplified completely, this is equal to 20,736. For b, we use the power of a product rule. Simply distribute the exponents to each number within the product. After simplifying, we get 16x to the 4th, y to the 4th. And lastly, we can use the quotient rule to simplify c. 
we will subtract the exponents to get 8 to the third, which is equal to 512. Way to go!